Baby, you a masterpiece. God took his time on you. Always on my mind, but I'd rather have my mind on you. Beauty is defined on you. Perfectly designed on you. If you see your flaws, let this play and roll on. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this vlog. First and foremost, I want to say I know I haven't posted a video in two weeks. Let me tell y'all what happened. So I, I had two SD cards, right? And y'all tell me why they both just decided that they didn't want to work around the same time, like both of them. And, you know, we're in a recession and SD cards are like $50. So I had to wait until buying an SD card was a good financial decision for me. And obviously it was because now I have one and I'm back talking to y'all. The devil was busy because he seen that I was getting consistent posting on YouTube and I'm back posting consistent because yeah, I'm a YouTube girly, period. Hopefully throughout this video, I will remember to give y'all updates or maybe I'll just sit down and do a whole life updates thing. I really don't feel like I have a whole lot to update to be totally honest, just like some good news here and there. But at any rate, today is Saturday. It is like 9 a.m. I got up so early this morning just because I was up and I know I wanna work out. Um, and then also my space is literally just not cute right now it just really needs to be clean i don't remember the last time i've cleaned and i really feel like it shows because i'm just not a fan so working out um we're going to clean and then i'm actually going to augusta a little bit later um my dad's actually from augusta I don't think y'all knew that. So my dad's actually from Augusta. We, I have a lot of family down there and I'm going down there to like hang out and see my family. And I'm really excited about that too. So let's get right on into the video. The other day, my dad and I went to like the health food store to get some stuff. And they gave us these samples of um, pre-workout. Let me show y'all, hold on. Yeah, so this is what the pre-workout looks like, the little sample. And I've been saying that I wanted to get into pre-workout for a while because sometimes I feel like I'm very ambitious with my workouts and like I wanna still finish the whole workout, but I, I get tired. Um, So I'm gonna try this out, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared because it got a joker face on it. That's scary to me. Cause once you start eating, you're gonna be like, it's amazing. Okay. Can you put that crack in there? All right, y'all, here we go. I got my water. And it's gonna take 15 minutes, they say, for me to be ready for my workout. So, let's... Uh, yeah. And I gotta drink all of this? Okay, let me get a straw so I can mix it up. That's real sweet. I need to figure out how to uh, silence my uh, my Apple Watch again. I don't know if I'm gonna drink the whole thing, y'all. All right, well, I'm gonna catch y'all in 15 minutes. Fumble a bag, now I will not fumble a bag. You know how this goes. Yeah. Okay, so I think I left y'all after my workout. I don't even think I talked about how the pre workout went, y'all. <laughs> Oh my gosh, first of all, let's get into that. The pre-workout, first of all, I really think that I'm gonna keep using it. I had a lot of energy. Like I hope that the montage that I just did really shows how much energy I had because it was insane. And now I wanna do more research on pre-workout and maybe like get some for my workout because I really liked it. And I also was able to clean, but again, I was kind of rushing because I'm now in Augusta. 
and we was rushing out the house and I didn't get to show y'all that I, I cleaned up but I cleaned it looks way better upstairs life is good but we're about to go get hibachi I'm really excited about that it's gonna be so good and I'll catch y'all there we're going to Miyako Steakhouse hibachi So today is the next day, it's Sunday, still in Augusta. It is my cousin's 50th birthday party and it's actually a surprise birthday party. So she, literally she has no idea. So we just got here, it's also an all black affair. Let me show y'all my outfit real quick. Real cute, real chill. I just got on some jeans, a bodysuit, some heels. Got and I got my shades on. So this is the look, let's go inside. Today is, what is today? Today's Monday. So we got a new vacuum cleaner. We had a Dyson vacuum cleaner, but we had it for like four years or so. And it kind of died and just like didn't do that well anymore. So now we have a shark navigator and a vacuum mop. Wow! I'm so excited. We're gonna open it and see how it works. I'm so excited to vacuum. I stay the same. You must be blinded by the lights. You must be blinded by the lights. Lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Backlit. Should I turn this way? There we go. Hello. Y'all, I have just had a very long week. Don't I look like it? Don't I look like, like, don't I look beat up? Because I am. It's 7 o'clock. I'm still working, but I wanted to just tap in with y'all because um, all of my days have been like this. I did go out last night. I went to Trap Jazz, but I was rushing and literally didn't have time to vlog getting ready or vlog any part of it. So I'm really sorry about that. The rest of the week. So tomorrow I'm going to High Frequency Friday at the High Museum. They have like basically a, I want to call it a mixer or party or something the first Friday of every single month so my friend Darian and I are going tomorrow she should be calling me any moment so we can help her pick out her outfit so hopefully 
that happens on camera. Saturday, I am going to meet with my graphic designer. Um, I've actually known her for a very long time, so I'm just going to her house so that we can have like just a working session and her and Kaylin. I feel like y'all have seen Kaylin before, but they moved in together so just going to see their house do a working session and yeah so that's pretty much what i got planned for this weekend i do have a couple of updates aside from me not having an sd card i've also just been very very busy i have signed on two new clients yay so when i tell y'all like dang near all i do is work that i'm not lying i work from a smooth 9 to 7 30 8 every night not complaining I'm very blessed and I'm very happy and I also still have my 9 to 5 so I'm just I'm just constantly busy which is which is great to me I feel like it's a good busy and I'm a good tired I am personally loving where I'm at right now as far as content I'm definitely gonna continue to make the effort to post on YouTube I feel like I've said this in like previous vlogs like I want to be a YouTube girly like I care about growing on YouTube and like I just think I'm just really annoyed with the whole Instagram and TikTok scene because I feel like I would post but like it wouldn't be seen. I just feel like the bulk of my time and effort I want to put into YouTube because that's where I feel like I get the most results. I mean, mind you, I don't have as many subscribers as I want and I average about 30 views, but I really appreciate the 30 of y'all that watch. It's like that one TikTok that's going around like from cars and it's like Lightning McQueen. That's y'all. And I love y'all. It's not that I want to give up on content. It's just like I said, I'm just really over the Instagram thing. Like I post on TikTok. I post like my video recaps on TikToks and I'll and I'll post like reels that I make and stuff. But I think I always start to feel this way when it when like making content feels like a chore instead of a hobby so I always have to keep in mind that content creation is a hobby for me of course I would like to get paid from it of course like it would be great if it was full-time but also like low-key I feel like I wouldn't even feel completely fulfilled if like my livelihood was content creation yes I would want it to be a stream but I would want to do more than that um, and not to say that the girlies that only do content creation like are not fulfilled uh, because girl you getting a coin and you just sit in front of a camera and you taking your pictures and you making your reels baby <laughs> clap it up for you like for real i just feel like for me personally like i like doing a lot of other different things i would love for content creation to become a stream i would love for you know y'all to just follow my journey as an entrepreneur on youtube and you know that be a stream from just like y'all watching and getting tips but just know this is definitely a hobby and I just have to keep that in mind because I sometimes get really discouraged by numbers and I try not to get so discouraged by numbers but it kind of just happens anyway so I'm definitely not quitting YouTube but like if y'all just see me posting less on Instagram it's just because I'm over it like Instagram is dying anyway um according to Gen Z like it's for the it's for the millennials and the old people anyway baby and I gotta stay young <laughs> And then like I just have like a lot of great things in the works that I just feel like is gonna be taking away from like my time as a content creator hopefully I mean hopefully maybe I'll be able to afford an editor like it's nothing to like vlog but putting in the time to like edit so maybe one day, maybe eventually I'll be able to afford an editor and just put these vlogs together for y'all so y'all can see what's going on in my life because I really do want y'all to follow along my journey I feel like if you've really been here from the beginning like you knew I got fired you knew I was really struggling as an entrepreneur like you knew all the things baby keep on watching keep on watching keep on watching and see what happened I'm very excited so yeah um, I'm just sitting here working um, I have a content calendar that I'm trying to fill out for a client right now um, and I literally was in meetings like all morning until like two o'clock and baby I was exhausted so I took a nap and I woke up at like five and was like let's get to this so hopefully um I'll be done by eight because it's 7 15 now um if I'm not done I'm gonna hard stop myself at eight because I just believe in a work-life balance like yes work hard um but I also have been going hard since like seven this morning from the time I woke up yeah, I got to, yeah, it took me a little hour nap or whatever, but your girl been going, going, working, 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 ain't you? I'm trying to go watch TV. <laughs> Speaking of TV, I do want to talk about some of my favorite shows right now. Um, I finished The Perfect Match. 
I'm also watching Married at First Sight, Potomac. Girl, I still haven't finished Jenny and Georgia yet. Like, it's taking me some time to get through it, but I'm enjoying that. Um, I was watching you, but then I stopped paying attention at one point, so I think I need to go back an episode. I, t I tapped into that show, Velma. And I don't like it. Um, I really like cartoons a lot. Y'all know I'm a big Spongebob girl. I'm a, also a very big Bob's Burgers girl. But I think I just like anime. I like animation that is light. I don't like very raunchy animated shows. Like even the Family Guys and the American Dad, Rick and Morty. I do not like stuff like that. I like very light cartoons. I, I'm enjoying, like I said, I like watching Spongebob. I like watching Bob's Burgers. I like the Proud Family reboot that that's on right now. Velma was cool, but it's not my cup of tea. If y'all are watching any of the shows that I just mentioned, leave a comment, like let's talk about it. Um, and then I'll give a full kind of scope of like what I'm really thinking about some of these shows um, on my Instagram story. So tap into Instagram stories. Anyway, let me tap back into some work. Um, I will check in with y'all tomorrow um for my work day and for high frequency because i'm really excited we've been planning this for a long time and i'm looking forward to it hi happy friday um so it is currently 11 30 i got my day started very 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 early at like eight that ain't that early but i got a little break and i really want to get my eyebrows done like personally i don't think my eyebrows look bad because i brushed them but it's this mustache that gots to go i'm back if how I look right now is not a depiction of how my work week went, I don't know what is. Like, what is this scrunchie even holding? Cause it's three, four braids just doing what they wanna do right now. My brows, looking cute. I kind of just realized like the time crunch I'm on because um, because our dinner we're going to high frequency like i said that started at six we're going out to dinner first because that's what the girls do we got to go get food first before we go have have a good time um so we're going to saints and council in colony square that's like right across the street from the high museum and um our reservation is at 5 15. mind you i live a smooth 30 40 minutes with atlanta traffic away Meaning I have to leave here by like 4.30 to get on time. Mind you, I got a meeting at two o'clock that's supposed to last until four. And this particular client kind of is chatty. I'm just gonna start getting ready a little bit now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna at least do my hair. So you see, we got the edges going. All right, let's do that. Um, and y'all, I really need to clean this edges brush. Like, it is so trifling. Right this now. was a journey. I don't feel like I will ever make plans on a Friday um, before six o'clock because, like, the stress to get ready and get there is like a lot. Because our reservation is at five fifteen, and it's five fifteen right now. So, I mean, we got a grace period. I'm waiting on Darian so we can like walk together because safety. But. This was a lot. I don't know if it's because I had a crazy week. I literally got to tap in tomorrow too or what. But I'm here and I got my camera. It fit in this little bag, y'all. Come on, stop playing. I'm going to get this content. I really, really want like another vlogging camera. Like I want a camera that's really small and like can just fit into little bags like this. Like, yes, if it's in this bag, fine. But like other bags i just wanted to be able to fit in it so if y'all got any camera suggestions let me know keep the hair i kind of like it i kind of don't but we rocking with it tonight i think my face looks really good i just look cute y'all so <laughs> i'm excited for a little girls night 
I feel like we deserve it because we've both had very stressful weeks and we're gonna have a great time. Let's get into it. Okay, ready? Yes. Say hey. Saturday. I did have fun last night. Um, here's my honest review of high frequency. The vibe was definitely there. Um, it was a very diverse crowd of ages, ethnicities, you know what I'm saying? Different vibes was there. Like it was very diverse. Um, the people had it on. Like that is, if you want to just show off your outfit, that is where you go. You trying to pop out and show off that fit. You go to high frequency. Okay, the only thing that I really wish would have been a little better is the music. Um, I feel like that's what kind of killed the vibe. Like everything just had like techno infused with it. And like for it to be such a diverse crowd, I would have expected a lot more diverse music. Um, now mind you if you were with a group of people and y'all was out having a time it probably would be a little bit more fun i guess but you know just for the two of us we were just kind of really like disappointed by the music choices something else that kind of really and i don't know if it's because you know we're transitioning to spring but baby they need to turn the air conditioning on in there it was stuffy and low-key stinky in there after a while because it's so many people it's humid in there but otherwise it was a real cute time i definitely would try it one more one more time um with a bigger group of people and just kind of see how that goes now i'm getting ready to go to my graphic designer's house um i've known her for really a long time since i was a child um but she acts as like my graphic designer and my website developer and she's amazing and you'll meet her in a minute um taking my ashwagandha really getting into all my vitamins and stuff i'll definitely do a video about the vitamins that i take when i get consistent with them because i don't feel like i shouldn't make a video for y'all and i'm not even consistent but um first things first i don't take pills baby mm -mm, i really want to do the care.com thing but i don't swallow pills so all my vitamins need to be liquid form or gummy yeah. it's 5 30. i ordered some more stuff for my office only one of them are here but i still want to open it on camera the other one will be here on monday or something but this blog will be, this vlog will be finished by then so i'll show you what i got i got one of those pads you know that you put on your desk that could be like a mouse pad and all that that's what it looks like um I 
hope I like it. It's called a desk pad. <laughs> like, I couldn't think of the name of it to save my life. All right, so let's roll it out. Oh, yes, sir. I also ordered like the acrylic stand. I think I mentioned it a while back that I was going to get an acrylic stand for my monitor to sit on. Um, so that'll be here on Monday. So in the next vlog, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, I'm really, I'm working on an office essentials video. So like my monitor, like my desk pad, like, you know, my oil diffuser, my whiteboard, like just office essentials. I'm working on a video like that. Um, oh, here's the mouse right here, y'all. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Test it out real quick and see. So I have a portable mouse. I have to use this to connect. And this is the mouse. Uh, this is the USB for the mouse. Turn it on. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, period, get into it. I love this. Okay, yeah, this was the whole purpose, y'all. Like I said, I have the acrylic stand coming and I just wanna make my desk just very cohesive. Like right now, I pushed the monitor back so the stand could go on it, but I like, I think I like the monitor here and I'll just, you know, I just have to really figure it out. So, Office Essential video, Office Essentials video is coming soon in the next couple of weeks or so just be on the lookout and i got y'all like i said i'm gonna just probably chill for a minute because i quite literally have been working all day i went to tamara's house at 11 and i didn't leave until like 4 30 and we've been working for that long we got a lot done it was very productive we're working on some processes for clients um just so that when just so that as we onboard more clients, there's a process and there's already some things in place so that we can literally just plug them in. So it was very organizational today. I'm pretty sure we're going to meet sometime again this week to continue on with the processes. But I'm very excited, y'all. And I'm also just very, very grateful to have Tamara because I told her a long time ago that when I was ready for her, that I was coming for her. And I really meant that. And she's just very helpful on the project management side the graphic design side and also um she does website development too so she is amazing it's also on my to do to do like a day in the life of a digital marketer i don't want to say day in the life of entrepreneur because i do have a nine to five but i do a lot more outside of my nine to five so i, I think that's another video that i will have coming for you guys soon now that i have uh sd cards i'm about to chill and I'm about to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. If y'all watch that, let me know in the comments so we can talk about it. Um, that's how I'm gonna choose to unwind today. And I'm about to have some wine. And um, yeah.